Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're tackling one of the most powerful things you can do with your Android device, rooting it with Magisk. If you've ever wanted to unlock the full potential of your smartphone, Magisk has been and continues to be the gold standard for achieving a systemless root, meaning it modifies the boot image without touching the system partition, making it safer and easier to manage. Now, before we even think about touching Magisk, there's a non-negotiable first step, and honestly, it's the biggest hurdle for many. You absolutely need to have an unlocked bootloader on your device. I cannot stress this enough. If your bootloader is locked, this entire rooting process will not work. So, if your bootloader isn't unlocked yet, pause this video right now. Seriously, go online, search for your phone model unlock bootloader guide, and follow those instructions carefully. Once that's done, you can come back and continue with this video. Alright, assuming you've successfully unlocked your bootloader, let's talk about the two primary methods. We'll explore today for installing. Magisk in 2025, both methods achieve the same result of rooted. Phone, the PC and fast boot method. This involves extracting your device's original boot image, patching it with the Magisk app, transferring it to your computer, and then flashing it via fast boot commands. This method is essential if you don't have a custom recovery installed on your device. The custom recovery method. This is often the simpler and more convenient option. Assuming you do have a custom recovery like TWRP installed, it involves renaming the Magisk APK to a zip file and flashing it directly through the recovery environment. Let's dive into the fast boot method first. This is crucial if you prefer not to install a custom recovery or if one isn't available for your device. This is the most critical first step. You need the exact firmware package that matches your phone's current Android version and build number. Once you have the firmware zip, you'll need to extract it. Inside, you're looking for a file specifically named boot.img. In newer phone, you need to find a nit underscore boot.img file. First, make sure you have the latest Magisk APK downloaded from the official Magisk GitHub repository. Open the Magisk app. You'll see a section that says Magisk with an install button next to it. Tap install. Select the option select and patch a file. Navigate to where you saved your boot.img file and select it. Magisk will now patch the image. Once done, connect your phone to your PC and transfer this newly. Created Magisk underscore patched.img file to your computer. On your PC, open a command prompt or PowerShell. Window in the folder where your ADB and Fastboot files are located. Reboot your phone into Fastboot mode. To flash the patched image, type magisk underscore patched.img command. Here's the simple, step-by-step -step process for rooting with Magisk using a custom recovery. The Magisk installer for recovery is actually the APK file itself, just renamed. So, navigate to where you downloaded the Magisk APK and rename the file. For example, if it's named Magisk v27.0 at APK, you'll rename it to Magisk v27.0.zip. Make sure the .zip extension is correct. Na.apk.zip power off your phone completely. Then, boot into your custom recovery. This usually involves holding down a specific combination of physical buttons simultaneously until you see the recovery screen. The exact combination varies by device, so if you're unsure, Search for your phone model boot to recovery mode. Once you're in your custom recovery, you'll see a main menu. Look for an option like install or flash and tap on it. Browse through your phone storage to find the magisk.zip file. Tap on it to select it. After selecting the magisk.zip file, you'll usually see a screen with details about the file and a prompt like swipe to confirm flash or swipe to install. Swipe the slider to the right to begin the installation. The installation process will now start. You'll see text scrolling rapidly on the screen. Don't worry, this is normal. Magisk is doing its magic, patching your boot image directly from recovery. This usually takes just one to two minutes to complete. Once finished, you'll see a done or successful message. Once Magisk has successfully flashed via either method, the final step is to reboot your device. In your custom recovery, you'll typically find a reboot system option. Tap that. Congratulations! Your Android phone is now rooted with Magisk. I hope this comprehensive guide has helped you understand and successfully root your Android device with Magisk in 2025. If you found this video 
helpful, please give it a massive thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more in-depth tech guides and customization tutorials. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future content. If you encountered any issues or have questions, please leave them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you in the next video. Happy rooting!